Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Floss back again with another video and today we're going to take a look at some cheap replacement bands for your Apple Watch. Now I got three different ones I want to show y'all so I'm going to try to make this as quick as I can. First up, we got the Moco. Alright, now let me show you the website real quick so you can see where to get it from. All of these I got from Amazon.com. I'll throw the links up in the description. Alright, so this one is the Moco. The price is going to run you $14.99. So you're looking at $15. Bucks. Now, comes in a bunch of different colors. Black, blue, green, orange, purple, red, white, teal. They even got some metal bands. Now, some of the metal bands they don't have in stock right now. So I didn't get them. But let's just check out the price real quick. I will get them probably next week. But a lot of them, they wasn't in stock until the 30th. Let's, um, let's click on the right one. Some of them not going to be in stock until October 30th. Now, this one is in stock, so I'll get this one next. But let's check out Moco first and see if they make a, a quality product before we spend any more money on this. All right, now let me grab the little unboxing knife. Simple presentation, 15 bucks. All right. Let's see what this one looks like. Now this one pretty much looks and feels like the stock band. You get two different sizes, so you get your long one and you get your short one. And it basically feels like the stock one. Let me pull off the stock one real quick and we'll do a little size comparison. Okay, so we put them right on top of each other and pretty much exactly the same size. They almost, they almost feel the same. The Apple one does feel a little bit thicker. The Moco's a little bit thinner. Let's do the smell test. Pretty much smell, smell the same. All right, so let's drop this one on and see what it looks like. Okay, snaps right into place. Let's try the other side. Snaps right into place. All right, so 15 bucks. Now I got a different color Apple Watch. Let's lock it up and see how it's going to look on the wrist. Now, me personally, I like this better than the navy blue. The black and gold looks nice. Let's tuck this in and see how it fits. Yeah, fits perfectly. All right, so 15 bucks. This is a nice, cheap alternative than buying the stock Apple one, which I think is going to run you about 50. 15 bucks. Can't go wrong with that. All right, so let's see what we got next. Now, next, I got a leather band. All right, now this is the, the ELV. ELV leather band. Let me pull up the website real quick. Check the price. Now this one is good. Yeah, this is the ELV Apple Watch band. The price is going to run you $16.99. Does come in a bunch of different color leather. So you got burgundy leather, brown, tan, black. A few different colors to choose from. $16.99 though. No. Alright, so let's check this one out. I'm not really a big fan of leather watch bands, but every now and then you might want to get dressed up. This might come in handy. All right, so let's see. Now, this one does have a tool. What is this tool for? I don't know yet. Okay. Little installation instructions right here. This one does have screws in it. That's interesting. Very interesting. Let's try it out, though. Let's see what the band looks like first. Matter of fact, let's do the, let's do the length test. All right, now, this one is one size. They only put one band in here. Okay, now, this one, a little bit shorter than your stock band. Now, I end up having to tuck that in anyway, so might not need that. Let's see, do we need this uh, little screw tool? Maybe we won't even need it. Let's see. Okay. Looks like we might not need that. I don't know what it's there for, but um, <laughs> I don't know. If you don't need it, then don't ask. Okay, so this one locks into place. Now, let's see how it's going to look on the wrist. Okay, kind of, kind of, kind of on the flimsy side. Not, not, not the most quality leather kind of band. But this is what it's gonna look like. Let's tuck it in. All right, so if you just want a nice leather band, this will probably look nice when you're wearing a shirt and tie, and you're trying to get fresh. This looks a little bit more classy. All right, I put it a little bit too tight. I normally don't wear my watches that tight. Let's see. Looks like you gotta work these holes for a minute too. <laughs> Work the holes, fellas. All right, so that <laughs> that looks nice, though. All right, that one looks nice for a little, you know, $16 leather band. 
not bad at all. All right, not bad at all. All right, so 16 bucks for this one. Let's see now. Let's see if this one will come off just as easy. All right, so I don't know what they put that tool in there for. Maybe later on I'll read the instructions <laughs> and maybe it has some kind of use. But right now it looks like you don't need that. All right, so 16 bucks for the ELV. Now, I got one more. Now, this one right here, I've, I've been reading the reviews online. This one looks like it might be the best one, but we'll see. All right, this is the iSync. All right, the iSync. Now, this one's going to run you $26.99, so this is the most expensive one out of the three. Does come in a bunch of colors. So I went with the white first, and then um, if it fits nice and it looks nice, then I'll rack up on all the rest of the colors. All right, so, so far, this one has the best presentation. I mean, this stuff is in my peripheral. <laughs> best presentation. Here goes the color scheme right here. Green, red, light blue, white, and black. Okay. So inside, you get three bands. All right. And then this is a nice little presentation on that. I, I like that. You know, 26 bucks. I like that. Now, I'm not going to need the short one. Let's measure this against the stock band first. Okay. Looks exactly the same length. Let me see. Now, this one actually is a little bit thicker than the Moco, but still thinner than the stock Apple one. You, even with the naked eye, you, you, you can't really see, but when you're holding them in your hand, you can tell the Apple one is a little bit thicker, just a teeny bit. But if somebody probably put both of these in your hand and didn't tell you that one was uh, Apple and one was iSync, you probably wouldn't know the difference. All right, so let's drop this one on and see what it looks like. This white one is probably going to look nice with the gold. All right, let's see. Uh oh, little piece of the rubber just popped out. That might have been my bad though. One of these little rubber dots just popped out. See right here, but I might have been forcing that in there too hard. <laughs> we'll see. All right, so twenty six bucks for this one. Now my now my Apple Watch that's gold is white and gold. This is kind of hot. Let's tuck it in. Same fitment, same feel as wearing the stock one. This is hot right here. So I'm definitely going to rack up on the rest of these colors. I'll do a little updated video later just so you can see what the color Because sometimes you got to be careful. When you order red, you get it and it'll be pink or, you know, some kind of off red color. Y'all remember if y'all see those bootleg, the, the bootleg uh, Gear S watch bands, one of the red ones was kind of like pinkish. So I had to send that, had to, had to get rid of that, send it up out of here. But this one looks nice though. All right, 26 bucks for this. Way, way better option. Than buying the stock Apple one for 50 bucks. Now let's see if that little if that little rubber piece is gonna make a big deal. I might have to crazy glue it. Old school style, crazy glue it back in. Okay, I'm taking screenshots. Hold on a second. I'm trying to press this button. Okay, there we go. Alright, so let's get this out of here. Yeah, okay, well, all right, the rubber the little rubber part came out from the top. Let's see if we can stick that back in there. In real time <laughs> all right well <laughs> looks like you probably won't need it though I don't think I'm even gonna need it let, let me put this back on the seat it's locking into place probably not gonna need that but this one right here looks hot so the moco the moco and the eye sink definitely definitely a win I think they basically look the same so if you want to be a little bit cheaper go with the eye sink I mean go with the moco but they look they basically look the same but now it's almost like if you just got a brand new watch Especially if you like me and you wasn't really feeling this navy blue one too much. This is nice. As far as this uh, leather one, I don't really know how much I'm going to use this. The ELV one. But, you know, when I rock a shirt and tie, I might, I might play this one once or twice. So there you have it. All of these bands, under $30. Mo most of them under $20. But a um, nice little alternative than buying the stock ones. Hit me up in the comments let me know what y'all think about these. Shout out to everybody that rock with me on Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter. Google Plus, shout out to all the Google gangsters I see y'all holding down that Facebook page. Shout out to everybody hitting me up on Voxer. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with me on Instagram. Y'all know that's where I'm at full time, 100% full throttle. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with the Amazon Warrior on Sundays. Y'all already know, stream gangsters on deck. Get your drinks ready. No meat boys allowed. And of course, I put this on upside down. Still got to get the hang of this Apple Watch. Okay, this is how it's going to look. Let's, let's, let's throw it on one more time for the road. Yeah, this is kind of hot right here. I think I'm going to rock this for the rest of the day. Real nice. Oh, yeah. One more thing. I almost forgot. 
Fellas, ladies, say it with me. All y'all haters, all y'all trolls, close your eyes and picture me rolling. It's your boy Floss, I'm out. Deuces.